goodness, top of the morning, people, top of the morning, 5 a.m., 5 a.m., work call, rise and grind, rise and shine, the early bird catch the worm, it's your man provider, back with another blizzard, back with some more of this trucking game, Sunday workflow, man, I'm tired, guys, I set my alarm for like 30 minutes ago, I'm so disoriented, I forgot what time. Anyhow, I remember the alarm down, alarm went off, and I reprogrammed it to give me 30 more minutes of sleep. Doze back off, and that buzzer went off again, and man, ooh, I gotta shake it off, guys. Anyhow, got a quick little one-way load, empty trailer move, early morning Sunday, paying real well. Amazon brokerage uh, brokerage services they actually reached out to me regarding this that's pretty much the only time you're really gonna have some major rate negotiating powers when they call you and need something done obviously it's very important that they're getting a lot of empty traders moved into the facility where I'm about to take my empty two because they got a bunch of stuff I've got all kind of emails where they trying to reach out and get stuff moved but anyhow, man, I went on and accepted it yesterday. They tried to get me out there a little bit earlier. I was like, man, it's 6 a.m. It got to happen at 6 a.m. I need a couple hours of sleep. And I'm running on fumes as far as my Z's go. See how wide open the streets is in L.A. It don't never look like this. Small window of opportunity to be able to jump in the truck and drive with this much ease down this street to go get this trailer and take it where it needs to be taken to so that's what we get ready to do guys if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe like comment all that good stuff for your boy we trucking i'll tap back in with y'all on the next clip man man i'm trying to shake it off you can see these folks they in here wide awake they must have been going all night sorting these packages getting stuff situated getting stuff shipped out to your front door i see why they got this music going it's it'll help keep you awake that's for sure but i'm here i'm checked in i made it on time um hopefully they got this empty trailer ready for me to go on and keep pushing and raw so i don't run into no traffic and can get to where i'm trying to get to with no problem but uh your boy is tired man Salute to these Amazon. It's a 24 7 operation for sure, as you already know. But, uh, you know, might sound like I'm just ranting and raving. I'm trying to shake the sleep off, guys, so bear with me. All right, guys, so I went on the cane to this little Planet Fitness around the corner from the Amazon facility. Got checked in. I was supposed to be here by 6 a.m. to get this empty trailer. I thought it was like prevalent that they had like this trailer sitting waiting for me for the simple fact that they had called me yesterday afternoon they called me about an empty trailer move so I thought it was quite important and just knew for sure that uh, we would still be on the road right now but um keep it real with y'all I'd rather be right here getting me a quick early morning workout in hopefully they go ahead and issue a a tow new truck ordered not used and uh because basically the rate for that is damn near the same what they actually paying me for the load as you can see the gym is wide open so uh you know amazon they like to always tell you to uh wait until your scheduled departure time which is about 45 50 minutes from now and i think that would be quite foolish and lazy of me to just sit there knowing that I'm tired knowing that it's a gym right around the corner from the facility I've been here before I'm starting to make myself trying to make myself a lot more familiar with the planet fitnesses that are close by to these facilities that I frequent with this local trucking definitely got to stay in shape out here you be sitting in that seat 10 12 hours a day you got to get some physical activity in plus outside of that i just enjoy doing it you know I'm not trying to be like lou for rigno or nothing like that no lee haney or nothing but at the same time 
You're getting up in age. You got to take care of your body. You want to stay in shape. Definitely want to work on your corazon, your heart. Your heart hurt. Heart health is very important. And uh, man, ever since I got that blood work back and they was telling me about high cholesterol and possibly pre-diabetic, too much sugar, too many insulin spikes from eating too much food. Got to slow up on the food intake and got to stay more frequent in here. I know I don't have much time. I like to normally hit the gym for about an hour and a half. Sunday, really my day off, but I said, you know what? No days off with this as well. I've been going hard though. <sighs> so I'm gonna ride this bike for about 15 minutes. And uh, thinking I'm gonna go ahead and do like a full body. Chest, back, shoulders, arms, legs. Being that I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna try to, do, try to squeeze in three sets on each body part one machine, no free weights and no dumbbells, and uh, yeah, get it in, full body guys. Alright guys, so I'm done with that, I actually ended up staying in that gym a lot longer than I had planned on staying in there, damn near two hours, I went near to kill a quick 45 minutes, trying to see what they was going to do about the load, as you can see the sun is damn near all the way up over the west coast. Still, it's gonna be some beautiful weather for the day. Sunday, just went hard in my favorite little spot right here, the Planet Feezy. But uh, they went on and canceled the load. I could have waited and got the empty trailer, but like I say, the amount that they pay you, a little bit less, like 50 bucks less than what the load was gonna actually pay me. But in driving miles, I would be driving about 80 miles. So that little 50 is basically the fuel. You feel what I'm saying? So really, I just got paid for just showing up and checking in. The beauty of it, I was able to get me an early morning workout on my supposedly quote-unquote day off on a Sunday. So um, I was looking for some more lows. Wifey be wanting me to go to the, uh, the Kingdom Hall with him. And I was like, you know what, man? Like, you know, I really know in my heart and within that you're supposed to be putting God first. And putting God first is going to spend time in one of his houses where you can hear the word and feed your spirit and I always pray to get closer to him and have a stronger relationship with the man who blesses us and takes care of all of us the one who gives us this air to breathe the one who made the sun come up the one who helps provide for me and you so I gotta start putting him first I told her I said you know what I'm not doing no other Lord I'm about to come home pull my suit out Pull my dancing shoes out. I'm going with you to the church house and give thanks to the man up above for everything he's done for me. And we can worry about some loads and all that and doing another load after that because we done already made some money this morning doing nothing but simply waking up early off of only two hours of sleep. And like I said, instead of just sitting over there getting tired and falling asleep in the truck, I came over here and got it in. So I'm about to beeline to the house and get pretty, y'all and go get a man upstairs the thanks that he deserves. So that's what you need to be doing on your Sundays as well. Sunday fun day, family day, but uh, it's the Sabbath day as well. Today is the holy day, the day to give praise to our to the ultimate creator. You feel me? So uh, I'll tap back in with y'all on the next clip. And as far as you, Bumblebee, we'll see what they got for us a little bit later after we go give thanks to the man who's giving us who's providing me and you these jobs we get feel me i appreciate that y'all just want to share that with you how i was feeling this morning i was in on the treadmill like damn i can go in and find another load i'm fully awake and then something just came over me like man go to church with your wife like you know sometimes that's how you know you hear that little small little voice in you that little inner voice in your spirit or you know, a lot of people don't believe that, but I truly believe that's how the man upstairs be talking to you. Just put it on my heart to go do that, you know? So I want him smiling down on me. I want to make my wife proud and show her that I'm making the effort to draw more close and near to Jehovah God. looking guys it's 
got home, cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? Suited up. Ready to go give thanks. You know what I mean? Nasty, vicious animals that don't belong back here. Bruh. Thought he got out the other day. I was kind of sad, but yet happy a little. Take the wheel. Take the wheel, Puka. I was just trying to show how nice my family looked, you know. Ooh, Black Widow right there. Jump on my baby, man. Stompy. <laughs> mm -mm. Ooh. Get that. Come on, he's good. That's that's all from him. Get in. It ain't nothing but a little content of the family going to Jehovah's house. You know what I'm saying? What? Come on, man. Look, see how that's tripping. You're sitting in the middle of the street. Okay, it's going. Let's go. It's nobody. What's wrong? We out. You have to watch it. Put the alarm on. Oh, look, law, like a congressman, huh? Young provider, the congressman. Vote for provider. Y'all know how y'all can vote for me. Go subscribe to the channel. That's what y'all do. Hit the little box down below. Show your boy some thumbs up, love. What you were saying? No congressman? Or some real ism. Some Figueroa ism. Really, nigga? Release the crack. Alright guys, so I had a good time, a good learning experience, not a good time. I went there to learn, I had a good learning experience at the Kingdom Hall today. I'm about to shoot down here to the school and make sure the yard is all tidied up with this construction that we got going on down here. I think I showed you guys briefly what's going on with that in the last vlog as far as like trying to waterproof this wall we got. Got this crazy big, what they call this thing? Uh, atmospheric river just where it just it never rains here but when it does it's like a damn hurricane coming through here man. so go down here take care of my man who got the yard I told him to clean the yard up any loose concrete anything like that get that cleared up for your boy so let's go down here and check on that and uh, see what it do man Sunday workflow I'm running off fumes Yesterday I worked all day, didn't get home to about two in the morning, only slept maybe about an hour and a half, two hours, jumped up this morning. Now we just went and tried to do that other load, you know, got the toe new on that, jumped in the gym again, came home, still didn't go to sleep, you know, did what I was supposed to do as far as the church house and I'm still running, man. I know I'm gonna sleep good tonight and I gotta be right back up early for Monday, TGIM. The Monday morning grind with a uh, a 6 a.m. pickup. So this is what it takes, man. Hard work and dedication. No days off, no excuses to be made, and just keep pushing. You feel me? Open this thing up a little bit, guys. It's been a while since I've been in the cracking. So let me jump in this little machine, man. Put some miles on it. Three years old. I'm just at what? 12,000 miles. That ain't bad. That ain't even a year in mileage as far as having 15,000. Nice day today. Um, yeah, just out here putting the work in, y'all. Get ready for the work week. Hopefully it's a productive week. Hopefully I can get out the next seven days again, seven days a week grind. Definitely gonna be in the gym. I'm even thinking about hitting another one later on tonight, another workout and double up for the day. 
but uh, I went so hard this morning, I ain't got that much rest, man, I don't want to overdo it and push myself, I ain't no spring chicken, you know, I ain't 21, I can't do what I did when I was 21, you feel me, so, yeah, red guts, man, that red sea looking stupid, Fit, look, that butter soft over there, y'all, yeah, we in the town, man. I'm hungry, trying to see what I'm going to eat. I hate when I get hungry and I be trying to stick to my diet. That's when I always screw up and be binge eating. But I made a vow to myself I would not be doing that and uh, picking out on the wrong stuff just when I get hungry. Open this thing up, son. stuff over there. This bad boy is dug out with fish. Yeah, so that's what we was trying to do. Right there. Let's get to the base of that. So y'all can see they got him cleaned out. Could go ahead and proceed with keeping this damn water out of here. I was kind of concerned about cars coming through this alley, but they should be able to see. Only a fool would drive up in this dirt. At least I'll go ahead and move this one rock out the way so don't nobody tear up this shit, man. Another little task I need to do, man. A couple other videos ago, y'all seen us come down here, spin another bankroll, <clears throat> getting this damn kitchen in order. But I hate these damn freaking lazy Susan doors. This when the guy put the hardware in, he didn't really screw these on here. So, so, so I just want to tighten up. Some of the hardware. So this stuff, man, these little flimsy hinges and shit. Stay doing what they need to do. Got one in this corner. Let's go ahead and tighten this one up too while I'm here. give you two grams with every scoop okay you have for two months four months oh, okay you can mix them i heard a lot about the beta beta alanine yeah, what is that good for pre-workout so oh they already have it mixed yeah. in there huh what that does though for some people it's poking itching really over the body. really yeah, yeah. So with muscle fatigue oh, okay they only have it in this small that or we did have something bigger at least Oh, okay. Yeah. So the creatine is okay, small, huh? Yes. Oh, they don't sell these even in the six. Oh. Bigger? No. Oh, but sixty-four servings, so you would only use one scoop then right. per the mix. Yeah, other one lasts for one hundred and twenty servings. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Would, would, is that a better brand? Uh, yes. Would you go with? Yeah. Okay. Concrete. Okay. So I guess I'll go with yeah. that one, and then uh, moving on to the uh, protein. protein. Yeah. I recommend isolates since you mentioned you kind of want to get some definition. Yeah, bulky enough, but just want to add some protein, you know. In general, isolates have fewer calories, carbs, sugars. They're yeah. better to just stay lean. Okay. They're easier to digest as well compared okay. to like regular waste. Right, uh, right. A good one, at least for ours, mm -hmm. they will have your protein, amino acids, BCAs, okay. a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Did you and want a, a smaller bag? Uh, the bottle. Give me the bottle, yeah. Okay, so now, as far as a pre-workout, because I heard about that ghost, and that's kind of like what I'm talking about. It's like they yeah. market stuff. 
yeah. with these fancy and pretty little bottles and stuff and you know they're they're definitely known for their fun flavor. yeah but i see a lot of them they all over the internet you know That's what i mean so you work up though I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty basic, oh, pretty standard, right. nothing crazy going on. It's right. actually pretty clean too. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Theirs isn't gonna include any, you know, junk that other pre workers might put. Oh really? And What's some of the bad stuff that another one would for some well most pre workouts are synthetic made, so really? always, you know, some like um, I forgot the name of it, but it's just some bullshit like basically thing they put on most of these. Right. Like blue one, blue two. Oh something. yeah, yeah. So this, so this is a good brand then, outside of the market, yeah. Uh, blue Raz, this one's watermelon, strawberry kiwi, mm. apple spice. What's the servings on these sizes? Probably about, about 30? Yes. Yeah. So that lasts you about a month, huh? One month. Yeah. Okay. Most people work with at least a uh, At least a good 30 days. 30? Yeah. Once they start hitting a bit more on the capping, they tend mm. to reduce the servings to 20. Okay. All right. Well, let me go ahead and try this out. And then I guess this will hold me. Kiwi? Yeah, strawberry kiwi. And then I need a good shaker. Probably go with one of these bigger ones. I think I like this larger size right here. Also with that membership, if you have any issues with the product, you don't like the flavor, whatever it is, you okay. can return or exchange within 30 days. Okay. So yeah, guys, I've been wanting to get up in this damn uh, GNC store for quite some time. Like I've been telling you guys, I done turned up my workout a hundred times. I done 10X it. Like my man Grant Cardone say, I done 10X my workout. So when you, like I was telling the guy, you know, you heard it all when I was in here talking to the guy. You go up in these stores, there's so many different stuff to choose from. So many different products and makers of these different uh, supplements. And you want to make sure you're getting the right thing. You know what I mean? I just spent close to $200 in here to take these different vitamins and minerals and muscle recovery stuff like that because I have been like really just, I haven't been eating a lot at all. So I've really cut back on my food intake, you know, trying to cut the fat down. And at the same time, you know, you will lose muscle, but you're not really putting a lot of, I take vitamins every day, you know what I mean? And basically I gotta make up for it with the food, less food, I got to get all my protein and vitamins elsewhere. So that's why I got the protein. I got a good creatine for good muscle recovery uh, and a good pre-workout boost. You know what I mean? I've been trying to slow up on this coffee, which I am. I definitely can't be taking no pre-workout and drinking coffee. My heart will be going crazy in there. But um, I don't know if it's just a mind thing or this stuff really works or helps out. We about to see. I got a nice batch. This should last me for a whole month. I think about them guys when you come home from prison. When I came home from the pen years ago, I was shit. Your boy was kind of jacked, you know what I mean? And we don't have no supplements in there. I don't know why they're giving it to them guys now, but back then you could get a few vitamins. But outside of making spreads, eating noodles and chips and all that processed foods and starchy foods, them guys was coming out of there Jack Diesel, man. So we'll see. You know, I did want to do this, so I got what I wanted. Cool little starter pack, and uh, we're gonna see how it goes, see how it make me feel. And uh, yeah, I'm in the gym at different hours of the day. I don't really have no set schedule. So I'm gonna just throw this whole bag, all these subs right here, in the backpack that I got at home and just keep it with me in the truck because I never know when I'm gonna pop in the gym. The only thing is I would rather take my supplements with almond milk, but I guess if I'm not at home to mix my drink there, then I just have to grab some water. A scoop of each, shake it up, just come up with my own kamikaze, mixing all that together, man, and going in and just bang it out, man. Because even without that, if you're going up in that gym and you bang it out hard and you in there really pushing some weight around and not in there sizing up everybody and looking at the girls walking around with their asses out and you really going there to put in that work and stay focused and zone out with your music in your ear and go hard, you probably really don't need that. But if it's going to help and you do that, well, it don't take a rocket scientist to figure out that your gains is going to go through the roof. So it is what it is, man.